Hi, this is Carrie Rhodes with CarrieStamps.com, your fun stampers journey coach. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to turn the note pocket into a treat pocket. Our project looks like this, featuring Little Monster, and you can see that my note pocket has room now for a treat. So stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it is to make this. All right, let me show you how to turn the note pocket into a treat holder. So this is what the note pocket looks like if you're going to use it in the standard regular manner. Just makes a little pocket for a insert and I have taken it and made it bigger so that you can put a little treat in it. All right, so what you're gonna do is die cut one note pocket. It only takes um, well less than half a sheet of cardstock, so you have plenty of room to do another one from one sheet. This is electric line, and then you're going to put this into your paper cutter where this end lines up with four and a fourth and score it one time. So then when you're folding it, you're creating a wider bottom. Okay, now these flaps also need to be made larger. So I've cut two pieces that are one and a half inches long, one inch wide, and scored them down the middle. Then we're going to use some light liner tape to attach those, and you're gonna put it on both sides of that line, that scored line. So one will attach to the box and one will attach to the flaps. All right, so you're going to attach one here. And this will make your box a little bit, you know, this, this piece is wider than the flap because we're making it um, in a sense, half an inch wider, half an inch wide. So, all right, we attach the second one here. So you have like this, okay? Then we're able to remove the second pieces from our white liner and create our box. Press that down and then repeat on the other side. And then just really press that down. All right, now we're going to make it cute. So we're gonna use silks and splashes for this. So I'm gonna do that part next so they have time to dry. I like to use a little box when um, doing my silks and splashes. So that's this, you can see it's well loved. I just have a piece of whipped cream cardstock and I'm going to spray it with electric line splash. This is going to be for my little monster. Um, two squirts is good. I like to get some of those splatters on there. So we'll just let that one dry for a minute. Then this is going to be the insert to my card or my treat box and I just want to give that a little splatter with my Cosmic Grape Silk. So remember to shake it up first and then just tap and get as much or as little splatter as you want on there. All right, we'll set that aside to dry as well. Remove the box. All right, so for this piece, like I said, that's where the little monster is going to go. Um, and we're going to stamp that in black licorice. And you'd want to make sure you get really good coverage because you want his eye to be solid black and not, you know, um, where it's partially inked. So see, this dries pretty quick and you can go ahead and stamp that down. I cut mine, you know, just the right size for him. All right, oh, I have a little like fuzz on my stamp. Oh well, we're gonna keep them because 
I have another one here already done can you see that little in his eye all right so then I wanted to add some color to his polka dots so I'm going to take my cosmic grape silk again and I'm going to use that to color the dots and I found like a little tapping motion to spread it works good for me versus a like paintbrush type motion and then you are going to want to let these polka dots dry because it's um, kind of pooled up so it will need a few minutes to dry before you touch it because I did mess one up and I <laughs> touched it and like the ink spread everywhere. It wasn't as cute. So then once you get all those done, it looks like this and I went ahead and cut it out. There is a die for this so you don't have to fussy cut it. I don't have the die yet because I got this one for free and didn't order the die at the same time. So I just used my Details Pro's Pro Shears and that worked out great. All right, now um, I want to dress up my pocket. So I got a piece of our Fall Fest paper that I wanted to use and I wanted it to fit on this. So what I did is I turned it over to the back, used the back side of my die and traced it with a pencil. Now I have a piece that can easily layer on my pocket. I like to cut just outside of the line. I don't want to make this too small. So I use the line as a guide. And then I have this nice rounded edge here that's going to match the rounded edge on my treat box really nicely. And I like the side with the candy. Cute. All right, then we've got our Journey Craft glue we're going to add here to stick it on. And you can see it just lines up great. Follows that curve and is pretty easy to go ahead and cut out really quickly. All right, then we have our um, insert that we need to put in. Um, this is 3 and an eighth by 3 and an eighth. I didn't feel like it needed to go all the way down to the bottom, but you certainly could make it longer if you wanted. I'm going to add one more thing to that, and that's a piece of our black licorice sparkle tape. I'm going to take my scissors and flag the end. So I cut it up the middle, cut from the corner to the top of my snip on both sides, and now I have it flagged. Okay, I'm the black's a little hard to see on so I can easily fix that if I don't like it. I'm going to stick this on the right side of that and just cut off the top. You could fold it over the back or tear it, whatever you like. And then I've got um, one of our Toil and Trouble buttons. So cute. It's um orange glittered button and I have a glue dot on the back of that so I can easily just stick it right on and then we'll add this to the inside of our treat box with our journey craft glue so it's going to have an edge all the way around of that electric line then we're going to add him on and we'll do that with some foam squares you only need to go about up to his arm because the top half will be above the box and so we won't need that to be sticky. And he's going to go here. Press that down. And then, of course, some Journey Glaze. So I'm going to add glaze. Let me hold this up here. It'll be easier. Then you don't get my hair in there. Journey Glaze to his horns. And then to his eye. Make it nice and shiny, like an eyeball should be. Then I'm just going to use my tip to kind of spread it out to the edges. Add some to his teeth. And I wanted a little on his trick-or-treat bag just so it stood out a little bit more. I think the fun thing about this 
Ooh, this bag is that the O on or is another I. It's really tiny, but it's a little detail that's really cute. Okay, there we have it. Now, I decided I didn't really want my little monster to be a boy. I wanted it to be a girl. So I have some of our rock candy organza bows. I'm just going to lay right on the horn while the journey glaze is wet. And that bow will stick there amazingly well. And then we just add a treat to that. And it's ready to go. There you go. Pretty easy to do. To turn your note pocket into a note treat. Oh, you want to lay it flat so as I can dry. My eye was starting to run. So enjoy. If you would um, share with me any of these note pocket treat holders that you would make, I would love it. So if you would like to order any of the supplies I used here and make this, you can find them at my online store at funstampersjourney.com slash carry stamps. And you can make some treat boxes for Halloween. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.